of the road. To all the suburbanites and McMansion dwellers driving by, this place must look downright doll size. You know, there's been a lot of people staring. But it's a real grown up house. That's like, ah, just another house on the road. That happens to be just 127 square feet and fits in a lane of traffic. I haven't had any problems yet. Christopher Smith and his girlfriend Moret are moving their mobile, miniaturized home 115 miles from near Boulder to Park County, the final stage of a year long downsizing dream. <laughs> To them, less is more. Especially with the recession, just the idea that you can own a home outright out of your pocket with no debt, you know, maybe a minimal expense to rent the land um, is pretty appealing to people. So for just a few thousand dollars, they bought the land and built a home that is roughly 120th. They almost do. The size of the average American house. I'm actually standing inside of the shower right now. Seems simplistic, but finishing this place took about eight months longer than expected. Well, it turns out that when you don't know how to build a house, uh, things can take a little longer than you than you think. If that seemed hard, they had no idea what was in store. Time to go. Trying to get it over mountain passes. They're documenting every mile of the treacherous trip for a movie they're making about the tiny house movement. Looks pretty good. Thanks. And it is a movement. Tiny houses like this are popping up all around the country, with some as small as 89 square feet. The idea is that living with less simplifies your life. The house is in place on the land. I can't believe that we actually did it. Hey, we're coming. And after 11 hours of difficult driving, they're ready to simplify. That's it. Out here, far away from town, but part of a big community of people who are ready to live small. To see that little tiny house and this huge, beautiful landscape really feels like home.